Far out in the uncharted backwaters of an unfashionable end of the western spiral arm of the galaxy lies a small, unregarded yellow sun. Orbiting this at a distance of roughly 98 million miles is an utterly insignificant little blue-green planet whose ape-descendant life forms are so amazingly primitive that they all still think digital watches are a pretty neat idea. This planet has, or rather, had a problem, which was this. Most of the people living on it were unhappy for pretty much all the time. Many solutions were suggested for this problem, but most of these were largely concerned with the movements of small green pieces of paper, which is odd because, on the whole, it wasn't the small green pieces of paper that were unhappy. And so the problem remained. Lots of the people were mean, and most of them were miserable, even the ones with digital watches. Many were increasingly of the opinion that they'd all made a big mistake coming down from the trees in the first place. And some said that even the trees had been a bad move and that no one should ever have left the oceans. And then one Thursday, nearly 2,000 years after one man had been nailed to a tree for saying how great it would be for people to be nice to people for a change, a girl sitting on her own in a small cafe in Richmondsworth suddenly realized what it was that had been going wrong all this time and she finally knew how the world could be made a good and happy place. This time it was right. It would work. And no one would ever get nailed to anything. Sadly, however, before she could get to a phone to tell anyone about it, a terrible, stupid catastrophe occurred, and the idea was lost forever. This is not her story. But it is the story of that terrible, stupid catastrophe and some of its consequences. It is also the story of a book a book called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Not an Earth book, never published on Earth until the terrible catastrophe occurred, never seen or heard from by any Earthman. Nevertheless, a wholly remarkable book. In fact, it was probably the only remarkable book ever to come out of the great publishing corporation of Ursa Minor, of which no Earthman had heard of either. Not only is it a wholly remarkable book, it is a highly successful one, more popular than Celestial Home Care Omnibus, better selling than 53 More Things to Do in Zero Gravity, and more controversial than Ulan Kolofod's trilogy of philosophical blockbusters, Where God Went Wrong, Some More of God's Greatest Mistakes, and Who Is This God Person Anyway? In many more relaxed civilizations on the outer eastern rim of the galaxy, the Hitchhiker's Guide has already supplanted the Great Encyclopedia Galactica as the standard repository of all things knowledge and wisdom. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal, or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is slightly cheaper, and second, it has the words, Don't Panic inscribed in large, friendly letters on the cover. But the story of the terrible, stupid Thursday, the story of its extraordinary consequences, and the story of how these consequences are inextricably intertwined with this remarkable book, begins very simply. It begins with a house. Happy Tall Day, everyone, you hoopy fruits. <laughs>